Hi folks, welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. I've got a new piece of equipment here which is a little bit unusual. It is a uh, Roland DXY 1150 plotter. Um, I saw one of these for the first time a couple weeks ago and immediately fell in love. Um, being a child of the early 80s, I, I guess I missed these uh, as a predecessor to uh, dot matrix and inkjet printing, but basically it is a uh, actually a CNC machine. It uses a XY, I would call it a gantry style um, machine here, which you'll see in motion here in a minute. And what's really cool is it has an eight uh, position tool changer or pen changer, and it's a plotter. Um, I just picked this up off of Craigslist and uh, do a couple of videos on it here in the coming weeks. Today I'm just going to stick to the demo because um, of a cable issue, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, I found out about these through a great guy, uh, Doug Rapetto, who runs this website, uh, chiplotlay.org, uh, C H I P L O, excuse me, C H I P L O T L E.org. And he has created a Python library, which is a, uh, allows a modern computer to control one of these old school plotters. And I, Includes the drivers and other sort of ways, and you can basically go from a you can go from a rasterized image, sort of, but I think more successfully you can go from a vectorized image, an EPS, a DXF, etc. Uh, won't be able to do that today because the cable that I bought as a USB to serial has your standard nine-pin serial, and as you see, the back of the plotter has a <clears throat> it is a serial, but it is a a 25-pin serial, not the nine-pin. So I need to get an adapter. But um, nevertheless, you can see the demo it certainly is very cool. Um, the only thing, other thing I wanted to show is that this particular model has a magnetized back so it can take these uh, metal bands to hold it down. Um, it, my, the one I purchased came with the power supply. If you are interested in doing this or getting into this, you want to make sure you buy one with a power supply. It's a funky uh, power supply, which is not easily... Uh, replaceable as I understand it and uh, let's see here oh just wanted to talk to um, I, you know I'm excited to have this it's kind of a fun toy but um, it'll also be pretty practical I normally wouldn't be able to print 11 by 17 at home uh, it may be, I may be able to use it to actually draw straight onto sheet metal which could be great uh, and I may also use it for home PCB etching to uh, actually to add the resist via a pen. So uh, we'll see more to come, but here let's uh, let's watch the demo. Okay, so by turning it on while I hold down this enter button, I can have it go into the demo mode. It's currently rested in the top right because it's, it defaults into view mode. View allows you to uh, have the carriage remove itself so that you can see your drawing. So I'll take it off view mode and the drawing should start. As you can tell by the sound, we'll see how it comes out on YouTube, uh, these sound like they are stepper motors, not servos, uh, which makes, or you know, certainly is fine. It's obviously not uh, a high torque device. I'm really impressed so far though with the um, speed and the precision.
Here comes a pen change. that's it um, like I said uh, excited to, to do more with this I think it'll be great to get it hooked up uh, with Doug's uh, Chiplotle library and, and get it working with a, a PC or it actually work with a Mac or Linux too but uh, in the meantime let me know if you guys have questions